Hi everyone, Jeff Cote here with BoatingTechTalk.com. We've got a question from a fellow boater. Uh, Manny asks, Jeff, um, do you have any advice on how to design a charging system for a catamaran? Specifically, uh, Manny continues to ask, uh, combining two alternators to charge three battery banks while sailing and charging using shore power at the marina. Um, and Manny keeps on and goes on and says, Jeff, I've got two lead acid starter batteries and one lithium house battery bank. Okay. All right. There's a lot of information here to consider, right? First of all, um, with a catamaran, a little bit similar to power boats that have dual engines, right? Uh, you're going to have basically, you should have dedicated starter batteries for each engine, which Manny does. Good. Now they're lead acid. Um, and that's in contrast to the lithium. So there's going to be complications here on how do you recharge using an alternator, something that is lead acid and something that is lithium. So that's going to be an issue that we're going to resolve. And then also questions about how do you have three battery banks with only a single, let's say, inverter charger? And how do you charge three battery banks off shore power? Okay, well, let's start with uh, first things first. Let's start off with shore power. Shore power in a boat, like a catamaran, or actually, again, this would apply to uh, other power boats that have got dual propulsion system, right? Which is not uncommon for many power boaters. Um, the first thing you want to do is you'll probably want to have, uh, because inverter chargers only, most of them only have a single connection to the battery bank, and some of them have maybe an auxiliary, but it's quite hard uh, nowadays. They used to in the past, like Xantrax, for example, but nowadays you're not going to be able to use an inverter charger to recharge three battery banks. It doesn't quite work like that. So one suggestion is to install onboard um, and most likely a lot of you, if you're going to have a boat of that size with dual propulsion, you might have an inverter charger. So if you've got an inverter charger, I would have my inverter charger, um, and especially the charger profile of my inverter charger, just charge my house battery bank, which is lithium. So again, dedicated inverter charger to dedicated lithium. That makes sense. But what about my auxiliaries? What about the starter batteries? Well, the starter batteries, uh, are going to be charged from shore power via a small, um, little dedicated uh, charger. So it could be a 20 amp, 30 amp, 40 amp, that small little sort of auxiliary charger. Um, and we see that on some boats, you might have even a generator on a catamaran. And so it would recharge both the engine port, engine starboard and generator battery. And generally those batteries are not going to be lithium. They're probably going to be lead acid. Now it could be flooded, could be AGM, but you know, so install a secondary, a dedicated small uh, charger that is meant to recharge your starter batteries. So again, the port and starboard engine batteries and maybe even a generator battery. So, so far we've got an inverter charger for your lithium uh, because the battery is lithium and you can configure your inverter charger for lithium. And then we're going to have a small auxiliary charger for your um, charging batteries for starting. All right, so far so good. But now the question might be, well, okay, Jeff, great. So We've got this sorted out when we're connected to shore power or running a generator, but what about under propulsion? What about how do I get my alternators, which are most likely connected to my engine batteries, and how do I have my engine battery and my alternator on either side to recharge my lithium battery? Well, the way to do that, um, especially when you have different battery banks, uh, chemistry, in this case, Manny has lithium and um, also um, <coughs> lithium and lead acid. Well then, okay. So then maybe what you want to consider doing is installing what are called DC to DC smart uh, converting devices, right? So these devices and Victron creates them and we have a whole section on our website, check the links. What it does is it says, okay, well, I'm seeing a what I consider being a charge voltage at this battery. So a charge voltage, assuming that your starters are 12 volts, could be 24, but let's assume it's 12 volts. Um, if ever we sense on the anywhere on the engine battery a charging voltage, meaning that somehow maybe uh, the alternators are working and charging the batteries above, let's say, 13.4 or 13.3, then maybe you want to share that charge and have it go to the lithium. But the lithium won't want the same charge profile as your lead acid battery. So you need a device that is gonna basically be a DC to DC device, but also has some intelligence. So it needs to be a device that actually looks and says, okay, well, what does the lithium battery need? And should it have what the lead acid battery does? And it's, most of the cases it's no. So there's gonna be some adaptations. There's gonna have to do something 
from what the lead acid battery is getting, which has its own alternator with its either external regulator or internal regulator, and then take that and convert that to the right voltage that the lithium battery wants to recharge. Now, the limitation with that is that these DC to DC charging converters are generally not, we're not able to install them or procure them with high amperage. So, you know, some instances where let's say, for example, it's a small alternator, you only have a 50 amp alternator. Well, you might only put a 30 amp and that's basically now in 2023 is basically the max size is about 30 amps. And so on some boats where we want to have share more alternator power, let's say you have two 100 amp alternators on the other side. You're like, well, why would I limit myself to only 30, 30 when my engine batteries don't need more power and I want to take all that extra power and I want to redirect it to my lithium? Well, in some instances, we've installed two, three. So we'll actually put, stack them one on top of another, not literally, but like effectively have maybe even three of those devices go from starboard to lithium and then from port to lithium. And so we'll have three to three DC smart charging converters on either side to be able to utilize the power from the alternator, especially once the engine battery is full, to have that power go back to the house lithium battery. And general strokes, that's basically how we solve multiple engines uh, or charging sources for alternator to go back to lithium. And that's also how we charge having different chemistries on a boat is to have different types of chargers for different types of batteries. So if you've got further questions um, about this topic, put, post your comments below and see if uh, the community can help out a little bit. We're curious to see what kind of challenges you're facing. And uh, we've also have different write-ups on this on our website. So let's geek out and make our boats better and more reliable. Thanks for all of you for watching. We appreciate it. So if you're curious, again, go on our website and find out more answers and solutions with this sort of setup. And thanks for asking. And thanks for all of you for listening and tuning in.